which is better is an age-old question. Dr. Toth and I can agree on the origin of these foods. Absolutely. And the origin has nothing to do with Purim or Hanukkah. You Mom, may have been mistaken. It has nothing to do with those holidays. These foods, you must understand, were developed to treat the Passover affliction. That's a Passover affliction. We all know what the Passover affliction is, and we will soon suffer it. If you don't know, a week full of matzah on a shirt. <laughs> the debate about the role of these foods continued until the 1940s, when the Dead Sea Scrolls provided the answer in an ancillary text that most of you have never heard about. In this ancillary text, text which was devoted to ailments and cures, was included the recipe of both remedies. Now in the 12th century, the physician, philosopher, and Torah scholar, Maimonides. Is this a history lesson? He came to pay the
<laughs> you never heard that. The children gather in a circle. It is that that is the essence. The circle. And that is the circle you see in the latka. It is clearly the most important symbol of Judaism. The circle of life. Yes. Like the lion king. Like the latka. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me take your arguments one by one. First of all, you say that man can live by potatoes alone. That is just a bunk. We know when you look at the FDA. Oh, actually, 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 when I think about it, aren't both the Hamatashin and the Latka dangerous to our national security? We're going to get there. Don't move okay. my jokes. <laughs> <laughs> the latest food pyramid, at the base of it, has got fruits and vegetables. Now, what does the hamantashen have? You've got the prunes, the strawberry, the cherry, the apricot, the apple. It's a practical cornucopia of fruit. It's perfect for the diet. And then you say that man can live on potato alone. We know what happens when a society becomes dependent on a potato. We don't have to look that far in the past to an island full of people that were dependent on the potato. And in 1850, what happened at the great Irish potato famine? A million people starved to death because of the potato famine. Another million emigrated. They had an Irish diaspora. That's when and McDonald's was founded. And that <laughs> and what happened then? Because of that diaspora, we now have to drink green beer. Doctor, does this look like a room full of green beer drinkers? Please. And in regards to the shape, now I will grant you in a circle is pretty important, but the triangle, there is something Jewish about the triangle. Do you see it? Do you see how the Hamantash and has some Jewish emphasis? And let's not stop there. You know, you talk about the circles being the, the center of all this Jewish, but you just show us your kitchen literacy, not understanding that the Hamantash is actually a circle itself. That this, this Do they make Hamantash and chocolate? They do. <laughs>
Shelf life is not a barometer. I'm trying to get law to I'm trying to practice the debate there, could you give me a minute? <laughs> Thanks for a week. <laughs> <laughs> 